Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to take a background and uh, cut it out or remove it from a photograph and then we're going to do a couple other effects in CorelDRAW to kind of show you how you can use that. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to do everything from within CorelDRAW but obviously to cut the background out we're going to use um, Corel Paint but we'll do it from within CorelDRAW. So we're going to get our picture into CorelDRAW here to start with. And I've got a picture picked out and it's um, down here in my Windows Explorer, I've got this picture right here picked out. And I'm just going to grab it from Windows Explorer and drag it over here onto my Corel Draw page and drop it. And then we'll go ahead and minimize that. So I've got this picture right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and remove this background from behind the dog here so that we end up with just him. And then after we have that, we will go ahead and take and do a couple effects here in Corel Draw. So the first thing after we've got our bitmap in here, we're going to go up here and click on Edit Bitmap. Okay, once once Corel Paint opens up here, or Corel Photo Paint opens up, I'll go ahead and maximize that and this so it fits in the window a little better. Uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to select Image and then Cutout Lab. And I'll be using the Cutout Lab to um, do the removal of the background. I find it actually pretty easy once you get to know how to use this. It's pretty easy to use and it works pretty well. So how to use Cutout Lab here. Um, there's, two, there's two colors here and the colors themselves do not matter. They just represent the two tools. There's an outline tool and a fill tool that we're going to start with. The outline tool is where we want this cut out and we need to manually draw a line around this roughly where we want it cut out. We use the fill tool to tell it what areas we want to keep um, and then we actually from there it removes the background and then we go in and fine-tune it a little bit. So we're going to start with this outline tool. We're just going to draw a line right around the edge of this and you can adjust the width of this tool and that width will be determined on how much resolution is in your photograph for one thing and also just how careful you want to be with your outlining. And I've got mine set on 26, uh, the width, and that should work out good for us here with this resolution of picture. This is probably taken with a um, 6 megapixel camera, so it's kind of a medium resolution. So I'm just going to continue all the way around with the parts we want to keep, and we're going to bring this right over to the edge, and down here we made sure we went right to the edge. So everything inside that is what we want to keep. So we want to go up here and get our fill tool. And this and we click inside the image. If we wanted to keep this part out here, we would click out here, but we want to keep what's in here. So um, that's all there really is to defining the area. And then most of the work is done by this cutout lab. And we're just going to click preview. Okay, the preview comes up. Looks like it did a lot of the work. Um, but if we look close, we've got some edge problems. And I probably could have went with a little bit finer um, outline tool there, made that nib size a little bit smaller. But um, this works out good because we want to show you how to clean up this edge because there's always a little bit of cleanup involved anytime you have a picture that doesn't have a perfect contrast with the background. So the next thing we're going to do is clean up these edges before we save this back into Corel Draw. So up here you'll see there's two tools. There's an Add Detail tool and a Remove Detail tool. Now the Add Detail tool you would use on the inside and I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to keep my or I'm going to take my nib size up a little bit. We'll take it up to about 50. That should work. Um, what we do here is we're going to zoom in here on an obvious part to me. Um, there's some detail that it got in and removed there. So all we need to do when we have that Add Detail tool is we're going to come down through there and we're just going to go back and forth here until we add it in. What that's doing is removing um, part of this part that's masked off and restoring what's underneath there. So as we move along that edge you can see that actually restores that quite nicely. And it's got a little bit of a feathering effect to this tool so we don't have a really sharp edge. So as you can see that worked out real well there. 
and we'll go up a little bit here and you can see it we'll zoom in here you can see that it removed part of his nose so we just take that tool and just slide it right along that edge like that and I'm just clicking and holding down on the left mouse button and it just restores what we want now if we was to get over in here too far um, obviously it would restore some of the background but we don't want that we just want this just these edges that our cutout lab got in there just a little bit too deep and you can see some transparency areas here can just be easily restored by just sliding over that with that tool now again we can go out too far and you kinda have to determine what this kinda looks like and we'll have to zoom back out to see what this looks like but we're gonna go over these edges here kinda quickly and you can take as much or as little time as you want and all that will be determined by how close this is gonna be viewed in, the, in your final product here as you can see as we go down that ear there that just restores that quite nicely now again we are adding detail that it removed now there's another tool to remove detail and we'll see if we can find a good spot to show you how that works so we're just going to keep going around this edge now right in there you can see there were some lights behind him because he was standing in front of a Christmas tree and those lights I've got over there a little bit too far and they are showing back up so we're going to use the other tool to remove that in a minute but I'm going to go ahead and finish this off now same thing down here we've got some lights showing through right on that edge but I'm going to go ahead and finish using this tool first we're just going to go right here under his chin make a nice line there and um, restore part of that right there okay now we've kind of got everything back that we want back um, now we need to go back and get rid of some of these lights and so we'll just switch tools here we go remove detail tool and I'm going to zoom back into this area and you can see there's a few little things along here and as we run that over it it just removes those quite nicely and the same thing goes here we just have to run this down through there getting in just into um, into his coat a little bit there and remove that color out of there and same thing goes down here we're going to smooth this edge off a little bit just remove some of that rough edge there and if everything goes good this part of the picture won't be used anyway so we're going to go ahead and get that out of there though and we can just kind of smooth that off there's a little bit of orange still in there we'll just go in a little bit deeper and um, I've got a little bit here now another little trick is if you've got the uh, remove detail tool rather than switching tools if you just hold down the shift key I'm sorry the control key it switches to the add detail tool so we don't have to switch tools and I'm holding down that control key and as you can see it's adding detail now so that's a little trick without switching tools hold down that control key now we'll go over here a little bit of removal um, a few little hairs that stick out we'll just kinda even that off probably look a little better in our finished product even though we've lost some whisker here um, that's not gonna be a big deal for our little project here so there that looks pretty good and um, I think that looks real good for what we're going to be using this for kind of a little bump down here that we could smooth off a little bit but like I say in a minute here you're gonna see we're not going to use that part anyway so that's really how the cutout lab works um, outline it fill it um, use your two tools to um, define your edge the way you want it um, we clicked preview here um, after we did our fill and now we're gonna click OK this takes it back into um, our regular view here in Corel Paint and at this point all we need to do is click Save and we'll go ahead and minimize Corel Paint there and go back to Corel Draw and what we've done is save that back here into Corel Draw so now we've got that background removed and we just we just have bumper here so okay the next thing we want to do is that's actually um, everything about cutting that background out of there so we're going to go on to our next little effect we're going to do here and we're going to draw us an oval like about this size here and our goal here is to put his head inside this oval and we'll get rid of the rest of that and we're going to use a power clip tool to do that um, actually pretty easy to use here um, so we're going to get an oval 
just about like that. Probably shorten this up a little bit. Let's do it just like that. That way, just his head, we don't have any of his, where his uh, neck is cut off here in there. So what we're going to do is with this oval, there are several different ways you can do it. Um, we can um, select the picture and we can do power clip inside. Select that with our right click, power clip inside. It's going to ask us what object we want to power clip that into. And we're just going to point to this oval and just like that you can see that our image is now power clipped inside there which means everything that's outside of it is removed. Um, which is kind of a neat way to get rid of parts you don't want um, without um, doing a crop to them. So now that it's inside this oval we can, uh, we're going to go ahead and add a couple other effects to kind of spruce this up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and select that outline. We're going to go ahead and make that outline thicker and this is rather big so I've got to go with a pretty big outline here. It's going to be all the way up to 36 points here. You've got to remember the object I'm working with, this was a 6 megapixel picture. Um, this object's about 35 inches wide so it's pretty good size. Now the next thing we want to do is with that oval selected we want to pick a background color for that oval and as you can see now it becomes apparent how this background really isn't there. We didn't change it to white, we actually made it transparent. So whatever we do with this oval is going to, as far as the color, is going to show right around these edges. And as you can see this looks really good here. This did a really good job of of trimming that background away. Uh, we don't see any edges here that, that look bad or anything like that. Sometimes you get some transparency and that, um, that's when it becomes necessary to use those add and remove detail tools. So now we've got an oval back here and we're just about done with what we really wanted to do with this project. So the next thing we want to do is go in here and we're going to make some um, one more change. We're going to do a drop shadow. I mean this was a really, a good, really good look but we're going to add just a little more depth to this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click on this and we're going to say edit power clip and that breaks that power clip apart so we now have the image here and we have the oval and we can edit them individually now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image here and we're going to go over here and get our drop shadow tool that's right here um, then we're going to apply that drop shadow to the image itself and we'll drag that over here like this until we can see a little bit of shadow coming into play here. Now this is kind of a big image so it might take a second to make that drop shadow. And that's a little bit too big so we're going to go and back this up a little bit. Just about like that. Now that we've added this drop shadow to it, I'll go back up here and get my select tool so we don't accidentally change that. And I'm going to right click back on here and this time we're going to say finish editing this level which will restore that power clip to the way it was. It kind of puts those back together and so we'll click on that. Now you can see this is what I was looking for as a finished product. Uh, we've got the image, we've got a drop shadow back here um, which sort of simulates that basically we took this picture, this against this blue background and this shadow would be the shadow of let's say whatever the, the light was, but maybe it was a flash or whatever. And then we've got a nice border here that conceals all this. Now the only thing left here is obviously we should have fixed his eye. Uh, really wasn't part of the video here though. We were really most worried about getting rid of the background and um, doing our power clip. So that's everything I wanted to show you in this video and um, hopefully you've learned a few things here and we'll see you in the next video.